Hello everyone, this is Mehdi. Uh, today we're going to go over how to append required certificates to CA CRT using Firefox. In this session we're going to go over why and how to accomplish this task. As you can see here, I have a simple mapping that connects to a web service provider using HTTP transformation, send a request and write the response to a flat file. I created a workflow to run that mapping. So let's start that workflow. Okay, let's go to workflow monitor and see what happened. Okay, the session ran. It says it's successful. So let's see the session log. Here we are looking for any error related to SSL. So I just type in SSL and search for it. Yes, we have error. And it says SSL certificate problem, unable to get local issuer certificate. What does that mean? So it means that Power Center search its CA bundle.crt file, which is located in uh, server bin. And it couldn't find any certificate that match uh, the certificate of my web service provider. So let's see what web service provider I'm using. So I just type in URL and this is the url i'm using this is google api so let me copy this url and paste it to firefox here is the firefox and i pasted it so don't pay attention to the result of what we see here it's not important so simply go ahead and click on that lock sign and Click till we get to this page. Click on security tab, view certificate, and click on the detail. So as you see, there are three certificates associated with that web service provider. So I click on the last one, click on the export, click here on the second one certificate with chain in PEM format. So I name it Google API and I save it okay okay guys let's go and check the certificate we created here is the Google API right click on it edit with notepad plus plus guys uh, just a note here please do not use the notepad that comes with Windows Please use Notepad++, TextPad, UltraEdit, softwares like this, because the Notepad that comes with Windows sometimes add extra character at the end of the file, which is not comprehensible by Linux system. So these are the certificate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go simply create a certificate file to test this with my session. So I go to my Informatica server. I create a file called, let's say, no Google API.crt. And I open it, come here, select all, copy, and paste. Okay, everything is here. Let's save the file. Okay. Okay, here is a Google API. Now let's get the location. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Workflow Manager and create a HTTP connection to test the certificate. Okay, let's click on Application and create New. And it should be somewhere on top. HTTP transformation. I'm going to call it HTTP GAPI. And here, because I'm not going to use any user and password, I have to use the special user and password that Informatica ignores. So for the user, it's, as you can see here, PM null user. So I copy and paste it. Oops. Uh, let me just try one more time. Okay, and there is a password associated with that. It is PM null password. So I copy that and paste it here. I 
come down here in the certificate file I put the location of that file so it is temp just paste it oops so this and the name was Google API go to the end and paste that too and I click OK and click close on this I go to the session go to mapping HTTP transformation and I select the GAPI that we just created click apply click OK and we should be all set so I'm gonna save this workflow and run it okay I'm running the workflow let's go to workflow monitor see the progress session is running okay something is being bitten it's a good sign let me just open it session log let's search for any error related to SSL okay not found let me source by severity nothing the means our test was successful and that certificate chain was the correct one so the next step would be to add those certificates to the end of ca certed bundle so we can use that session without any http connection okay now i go to my informatica server i'm gonna go to my informatica installation this server and bin okay now i want to edit my ca bundle.crt i go to the end of the file oops go to the end of the file this is for google i just want to make a note of it for my future reference google api so i come here go back to that notepad plus plus select all copy come here paste and and google api go here and save the file yes and done let's say just test it yep we modified it right now so let's go back and test the session this time without HTTP connection okay let's go to workflow manager now let's go to the session mapping tab HTTP transformation search it to none that way power center goes to ca bundle.crt to check for trusted certificates let's save it right click and start the workflow mm -hmm. let's go to workflow monitor session still running okay perfect something is being written let's open the log let's search for ssl nothing expect that sort severity no error is found okay our job is done and everything is working fine okay guys uh the in this video we went over on how to use firefox to get the web service provider certificates and add it to cae bundle.crt after testing it uh we highly appreciate your feedback you can contact us using support video support tv videos at informatica.com and using our twitter account thank you for watching this and have a great rest of the day